Our feet. These weird looking five finger limbs play one of the most important roles in our body, helping us move, which means we should treat them nicely, take care of them, right? Wrong. Modern footwear destroys our feet by forcing them into stiff, narrow shoes with small toe boxes that not only crush the life out of them, they restrict them from serving their full function. Not only that, they have an elevated heel, which is nice for height, but terrible for everything else. An elevated heel can lead to tight calf and leg muscles and a shortening of the Achilles tendon, which can actually make us shorter. Dealing with all these issues myself, I decided it was time for a change. Doing the rounds on the internet and on Reddit, I came to the conclusion that barefoot shoes might just be the answer to my problems. So I switched. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the benefits of barefoot shoes according to the literature, what I've noticed wearing them for over two years, what the transition is like, and if you should switch to them. Let's get into it. The literature shows that using barefoot shoes can have several impacts on foot health, biomechanics, and overall physical function. Let's break it down. Number one, natural foot movement. Barefoot shoes, also known as minimalist footwear, aim to mimic the natural biomechanics of barefoot walking or running. They are thin, flimsy, and flexible. In addition, they have a wide toe box to allow your toe to spread as they would naturally. An analysis of studies by Daniel Lieberman and colleagues in 2010 examined the running form of habitually barefoot runners versus runners in modern footwear and found that those that run barefoot typically have a tendency towards forefoot or midfoot strike patterns during running, which differs from the heel strike commonly observed in runners in modern footwear. This change in foot strike pattern can lead to reduced impact forces, potentially lowering the risk of certain types of overuse injuries, which takes me to number two, reduced chance of injuries. A study by Sebastian Wolf and colleagues in 2008 confirmed similar findings. The study looked at 18 children and found that wearing barefoot shoes compared to modern footwear was found to alter the distribution of plantar pressures during walking and running, leading to a more even pressure distribution across the foot and reducing peak pressures in the heel and forefoot, thereby potentially reducing the risk of pressure-related foot conditions. Number three, stronger feet and legs. A study by Cedric Mario and colleagues in 2009 found that barefoot shoes can increase the activation and strengthening of foot and lower leg muscles by providing less support and cushioning than conventional shoes. This increased muscle work can help improve foot strength and arch function, contributing to better overall foot health and stability. Number four, foot posture and shape. A systematic review of 15 different studies by Simon Franklin and colleagues in 2015 found that habitual use of barefoot shoes has been associated with changes in foot shape and structure, including wider foot shape and more splayed toes. This is in contrast to the narrow and pointed shape often encouraged by conventional footwear which can lead to conditions such as bunions and hammer toes. By allowing the foot to spread naturally, barefoot shoes can contribute to a healthier foot shape and better alignment of the toes. Now we know the benefits according to the literature. Let's get into my experience wearing them for over two years. The transition is not easy. Switching is going to be painful for the first several months. You need to ease into wearing barefoot shoes. Start slowly and work your way towards wearing them all the time. Some of them are really ugly. Although this has gotten better since I got my first pair, which look like this. So just be warned. Thirdly, you gotta get used to being shorter. With barefoot shoes, you are essentially giving up a full inch of height compared to every other person who wears modern footwear. It is something that takes a little getting used to. Fourth, they feel great once you get used to them. Once your feet have gotten comfortable in barefoot shoes, they feel absolutely amazing. It feels like you're walking around barefoot, as it should. As someone who would constantly be dealing with foot pain after short periods of walking, trying more and more arch support to combat the problem, I can now walk and stand pretty much as long as I want with minimal foot pain. If you're going to make the switch, be cautious. Don't just dive straight in. It can lead to injuries. A meta-analysis of 13 different studies by researchers R.T. Chang and S.P. Nye found that the transition to barefoot shoes can itself lead to injuries if not managed carefully. The sudden changes in footwear without proper adaptation can lead to increased stress on different parts of the foot and lower leg, potentially leading to new injuries. Therefore, a gradual transition to barefoot shoes, they found, along with appropriate strength and flexibility training, is often recommended. So start slow. Wear them for a 30 minute walk each day for your first week, then an hour for the second week, then two, gradually increase the time you wear them for. Don't work through any physical pain, be conservative, and eventually your feet will get used to them. But yes, they're absolutely worth giving a shot. They have an incredible amount of scientific benefits backing them, and they feel amazing. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch a video I made about what happened to my feet wearing toe spacers for over two years, you can watch that here. Have a good one, everyone.